Hey, this is Raisho J Gaming back with another Darkness Rises update video. So I want to go over the new Immortal Raid 3 first. It's called Sanctum of the Dead. And like the other Immortal Raids, we'll be teaming with two other players. So the three difficulties that we have is normal, hard, very hard. For normal, the required power is 6.5, for hard is 8, and for very hard is 10. The rewards available are the destroyed Lorian Wings, the rank A++ Ancient Rite Accessory, rank A++ Crystal Accessory, rank B through A Accessory Polish, Immortal Raid Points, Gold, and Guild Points, Coins, and Fame for Guild Members only. So now I'm going to go over the Immortal Raid 3 Zones. In Zone 1, you'll meet the new uh, Pale Banshee. It's a new ranged monster that can stun you from a distance. And uh, multiple monsters will appear in this zone. You'll just have to defeat them to get to the next one. Zone 2, you'll need to defeat all the monsters that Lorien summons. Lorien will summon the spears during this battle, and the spears will disappear after a certain period of time and reappear after the cooldown. You'll also meet the new monster, Dark Banshee, a new monster that uses a fatal debuff, Death Sentence. If you're attacked by the spears while you're under Death Sentence debuff, you'll be dealt a huge amount of damage. For Zone 3, you'll be teleported to a new area after the battle. Lorien's spirit will appear and use special skills. You will be dealt with a huge amount of damage if you're under the Banshee's Death Sentence debuff. You cannot resurrect in Zone 3, but you can automatically resurrect in the next zone. You will be directed to the next zone if you clear Zone 3 within the allocated time. For Zone 4, the final boss Awakened Lorien will appear. He will be using different skills depending on what stage you're at. Awakened Lorien will also summon Tombstones and Banshees. Awakened Lorien will use his ultimate skill if his HP falls below a certain point. A separate HP gauge will appear if you attack Lorien while he's using his ultimate skill. Lorien's real HP will not fall when the gauge appears. If you do not take off all the gauge within the time, Lorien uses his powerful ultimate skill. So while you're in the zones, you want to make sure you're watching out for the tombstones and gravestones. A tombstone will reduce your movement and attack speed. The gravestone will damage you and heal the monsters in the area. So with this update, we also have the collaboration with Samurai Showdown. Um, it is a game I used to play when I was younger on my PlayStation 1, so I did like it a lot. And I was really excited when I saw this collaboration. So the characters that we're going to be getting the costumes from are Harumaru, Genjuro, Mina, Nokururu, and Cham Cham. The costumes will be available from B plus to S plus, and they will be added into the costume chest. And those um, Samurai Showdown uh, costumes do have a different color as well. With this collaboration, we also got five new pets. Uh, there are many versions of the Samurai Showdown uh, characters that we got for the costumes. And we also have the Samurai Showdown Journey that will be part of the collaboration as well. For the Samurai Showdown event, Fight for the Top. To obtain points, you have to participate in ranked match one time, that's five. Dual PvP will be seven points. Team PvP is nine. Brawl is nine. And Guild PvP is nine. At the end of this event, you'll have 850 coins. You'll have 48 of the rank B and rank A refining chest and 50 trade tickets. For the second event, Journey of the Samurai, to obtain points, clear adventure stage one time, you get one point. The Golden Dungeon, you'll get four points. Daily Dungeon, you'll get six points and clear the gate of the dead, you'll get three points. The coins you'll get by completing this event will be 535. You'll have 48 large essence chests, and then you'll have 51 of the giant essence chests. All right, so for the new event shop items, um, the first one is the 2P Color Samurai Showdown Style Chest. Um, I'm guessing the 2P means Player 2. Uh, Samurai Showdown Pet Egg, rank A to S. Then you have the rank S refining stone chest, the rank A plus level 50 gear chest, weapon, armor, and accessory polish chest, B to A. And then you have the pet development berry choice chest. 
so this is gonna be the end of the video um hopefully all the iphone users were able to get the game uh update downloaded i recently just got mine updated so that's why the video is coming out so late and again thanks for watching uh please like and subscribe for more and again this is rush of gaming have a good day